my name is Helen Brady and I'm running for the 14th Middlesex District. A couple of the reasons that I decided to run are, first and foremost, I'd like reform uh, in the state government and I think there's a lot of opportunity for somebody like me, I'm a newcomer, to go up to Beacon Hill and support our Governor Baker um, on his efforts to make the government work better for us. Um, for over 25 years I've been working for the Boston Symphony Orchestra and I do group sales and tourism and I do a lot of business development and I feel that this region could use somebody like me that understands tourism, understands business development, um, realizes that we have a great regional hospital, what can we do for that hospital, that we have a lot of opportunity to help people on who ride bikes through our town, make sure everybody works together for safe and secure roads. And uh, what are some of the other issues um, you know, that are important to you that face the communities that you would represent if elected? Well, there are obviously are some issues with the opioid crisis. I would like to uh, be part of that conversation, figure out some solution that helps families, helps the person that um, is addicted. I would also uh, like to support our schools and, and understand better how the formula, the 70B works for people or their communities and just make sure that, that we get more local aid back, which is what Governor Baker would like to do. And do you have any other questions? Yeah. What do you feel are the most important issues in this election? I think probably just getting the trust of voters like me back and that's one of the reasons why I'm running for office because the, the national level I felt discouraged and I felt that we need to be more involved uh, the voters citizens who've worked in the private sector need to come out and run for offices because a lot of the seats are uncontested and this seat while with there's a Green Party candidate I felt that my party wasn't represented well or my views or maybe even the silent majority who just want the government to work better to make sure programs are doing what they're supposed to do it's not eliminating programs it's reforming programs so that the people that are need our help the most are getting our help